Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope that you're all doing amazingly well today. In today's video, I am so excited because we get to play with the new Glam Light Pizza Palette. I got this um, last Friday. I did get to play around with the palette a few times and yeah, I'll kind of maybe show you pictures later on of what that looked like. It's a mess because I didn't have makeup on, my eyebrows weren't on. I was just kind of playing around with it just to see what the colors looked like with certain colors basically I wanted to try to figure out what kind of look I wanted to do for a video so it's super messy but at least if I show you guys the pictures you can see how some of the other colors look on the eye since I used seven colors on my eye today but obviously I didn't get to use all of them so I will put those pictures up um, during the review part of the video I guess so you guys can see and another like quick thing that I just wanted to get out of the way really quickly just for full transparency is that I did purchase this palette myself I am not on Glam Light's PR list. I do know her. I do know the owner. I have known her for like a few years now. We actually crossed paths on Instagram when I was first starting out, when she was first starting out. And we did do, uh, I think like two or three collaborations on this little mirror that she was selling and then like a ring light for your phone. Um, she's an amazing person, super sweet, super down to earth. Um, I can just feel good vibes from her always. I've never felt any like maliciousness from her or anything like that. We were actually supposed to collaborate on her first palette. She did, no, did she send it to me? Yes, she did send it to me. I actually didn't even, I haven't used it yet. Um, I was going through so much at that time, like so, so much. You guys know that we lost two dogs this year, plus a hamster and um, there was other personal things going on and I honestly just was really slacking on everything to do with YouTube and Instagram. So we didn't get to collaborate this last time, but I really wanted to show my support for her company because she has been so good to me and she really is a, such a good person. So I did purchase the palette myself and I just wanted to let you guys know that, not that it matters um, because regardless, I'm always going to give you guys an honest review, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way and let you guys know for full transparency. Anyway, let me... Oh, also, I am going to start this video off. Well, I started the tutorial off with different colored contacts, so don't get freaked out by that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this eyeshadow look. I keep looking at myself in the monitor because I feel like I look super weird with these light colored contacts. But Anyway, let me go ahead and get this eyeshadow look started and I am going to be doing a voiceover today. I feel like my videos have been a little bit too long the last couple of times. So to try to save myself some time, I am just going to um, do a voiceover. So you won't see me talking through the tutorial, but you guys let me know what you prefer in the comments down below. If you would rather me do voiceovers or talk through throughs but for today I am definitely going to do a voiceover just to save us a little bit of time. I don't, I'm so sorry by the way I keep looking at myself in the monitor and I cannot get used to uh, this color on my face. I'm hoping that I'm not freaking you guys out but if you are interested in the color contacts that I'm wearing today or any of the color contacts that I've worn in the past I'm gonna leave all of the all of the information in the description box below. It is an affiliate link, but you guys definitely do not have to shop through there. You can just go to the website directly, but I am gonna leave all of the colors and coupon codes and basically all of the information regarding my contacts in the description box below in case that you guys are interested. But anyway, let me stop talking and let's get this eyeshadow look started. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my eyes. So I'm gonna use my favorite P. Louise Makeup Academy base. This one is in the shade 0 0.5. So before I continue the look, I'm sure you guys noticed that my eyes changed to a different color. I could not get used to the gray contacts. I haven't worn gray contacts in a really, really long time and I just felt really weird. So I went back to the ones that I usually wear. I will leave these in the description down below as well if you're interested. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do the gray contacts another time, but for today, 
we're gonna stick with these guys so anyway let me get back to the tutorial so five minutes later here we are i'm gonna just basically finish priming my eyes and i'm also going to be applying the primer to my lower lash line so that whatever color we put down there is nice and pigmented now i'm going to come in with the color green peppers for the first color i am using a real techniques brush and i'm basically just packing this color until i'm happy with the pigmentation that i have i'm also going to be winging this out pretty far basically past my brow because we are going to be doing a cut crease And now I am switching over to a smaller, thinner, synthetic brush. And I'm basically just using that brush to blend out the edges. And I am going to be going back and forth between both brushes. Because as you guys know, when we do blending, we do lose some pigment. Next, I'm coming in with the color Basil. And I'm using this with a Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill pencil brush. And I'm just going to pack on the color into the crease. And again, I am going going to wing it out past the brow just so that you know when we do the cut crease we have enough color to work with once I have packed the color and I'm happy with the way that it looks I'm going to start blending out the edges again we're going to be making tiny tiny motions you want to be really careful when you blend out your edges and I'm also going to be switching back and forth between all of my brushes so you should do that as well um, if you lose pigment or you're not happy with like a little spot, don't be afraid to just go back and forth. Anyway, now I'm coming in with the same P. Louise primer and a concealer brush and I'm just going to cut out the crease and then I'm taking a little bit of a makeup remover and I'm going to remove all of that extra color on the lid. And now using the same primer and a concealer brush, I'm going to go ahead and start priming the lid. And again, I'm taking that primer way, way out and with the color base. I'm gonna start forming the eyeliner so I'm just using a small flat brush and you're basically just gonna do a winged liner and you want to keep this one kind of a little bit lower so that when we come in with the next color we still have room to work with so now I'm coming in with this orangey color I think it's called cheese I don't remember but um, basically another flat brush and we're just gonna apply that one over top of bacon and using a translucent setting powder i'm going to set the center of the cut crease and then i'm just going to clean off the edges with a q-tip going back to the color basil i am going to grab another flat brush and i'm just going to really define the cut crease and using a small uh, morphe brushes a brush this is very similar to the sigma e35 i'm going to apply a little bit more of basil and just making sure that everything looks nice and blended and seamless for lashes i'm gonna come in with these from rouge and rouge and these are in the style lady killer and i hope i said that right but anyway next i'm coming in with the color meatballs and i'm applying that to the lower lash line to blend it out i'm going to come in with the color hot sauce and i'm just using a pencil bra I can't talk pencil brush to blend it out then I'm grabbing in this shimmery yellow color and applying that to the inner corner now I'm grabbing the benefit roller lash mascara and applying that to the lower lash line and then applying a mark beauty blue pencil to the waterline to finish out the look I'm grabbing the I'm Reezy highlighter for my glow and for lips I'm grabbing this Kevin O'Quan lip liner and I'm pairing it with the liquid lipstick from the I love Sarahi color pop through my eyes collection in the shade sueño de coco and what I'm going to do now because I almost forgot is apply a little bit of blush so I'm applying a blush from the Morphe brushes warm palette it's kind of like the skin color one I'll put everything in, in the description box below uh, but yeah this is the finished look and what I'm gonna do now is show you guys the swatches to the eyeshadow palette and I did have to go in a few times for the swatches so I'm just warning you guys right now but honestly even though some of them do swatch a little bit not patchy but i just have to kind of go in a few times um they performed really well on the eyes and i really had no trouble with any of these colors this pink one in particular i did use in one of the eyeshadow looks when i was playing around with the palette and it performed really really nicely so honestly i'm 
don't be too concerned with the fact that I have to go in a few times for the swatches because they truly do perform and are very highly pigmented on the eyes. Anyway, let me stop talking and let me just show you the rest of the swatches. Alright, so you guys just saw the tutorial, you saw the swatches, and now I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the palette, let you know my opinion, let you know if I recommend it or not. So the eyeshadow palette comes with 18 eyeshadows total, and out of those 18, three of those are shimmer. This is, as you guys saw from the tutorial, this is what it looks like. And yeah, they're all mostly matte, so 15 mattes and three shimmers. The shimmers are the yellow one, which I used today, the purple one right here, and this green guy right there. The rest of the shades are all matte. It does come with a mirror, and then this is what it looks like when you close it, and this is what the back looks like. So the palette retails for $40, and right now, as far as I know, it is out of stock, but it is restocking. So I believe that they're taking pre-orders, and uh, you should be able to order it on their website right now as a pre-order. Order. They have all of the information up on the website as soon as you go to it, just in case that I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, it does retail for $40 and they do offer free shipping for orders over $39. So obviously this is $40, so you will get free shipping if you get the palette. You do have to use a coupon code. I believe the coupon code is GLAM10 and it's right on the website. As soon as you get to the website, you will see it. This guy actually comes in a little pizza box like that. So when you get your palette, you it'll come in this guy first. And then when you open it, that's where your palette will be. So I thought that was super cute, super just like it was a great concept. Um, let me actually touch on that for like a quick second. So when I get any new makeup, I always put it on top of my vanity because that's where I have all of like my makeup that I like to display. It's right on my vanity. Um, so when this came, of course, I put it on my vanity and I'm like looking at it and I'm like, okay, I love it. I love the concept. I think it's super fun and I can't wait to use it. But there's no way that I'm going to put this on display in my vanity because it actually looks like food like it's so realistic that when I first opened it my brain couldn't process that it was like an eyeshadow palette I mean I knew that it was an eyeshadow palette but my brain was like stuck on pizza um like it looks like a real pizza so that's one of the things about the palette that I was like oh because I feel like it would have been super cute to display but it just doesn't go with the decorations and like everything else that I have on display because everything else is like glittery and sparkly and pretty and this is a pizza so I'll probably just keep it in the filming room like on the side with all my other palettes so that I can grab it you know when I want to do an eyeshadow look with it even though I can't display it 
I still think it's a really fun concept. It's super fun to use. So do I recommend the palette or not? I'm not going to talk too long like always because I can't even watch my own videos because I'm just so annoying. Um, but I'm just going to let you know if I recommend it or not. And honestly, I do. I'm going to show you pictures right here of some eyeshadow looks that I was kind of playing around with be when I first got the palette last week. Let me just get you ready before you see these pictures. I don't have makeup on. I don't have my eyebrows on. So it looks like crap. It's like, you know, when you do an eyeshadow look and you don't have the rest of your makeup together, it kind of looks super weird. That's what this is going to look like. But I did want to show you the pictures just so that you guys could see what some of the other colors look on the eye since I only got to use seven of them today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the pictures right now so that you guys can see. And as you guys can see from these pictures, they are pretty, pretty pigmented. And as you saw from the tutorial, um, the eyeshadows are really pigmented. And yeah, I really do recommend the palette. I think it's a fun palette. I think it's a great addition to anyone's collection. There's a lot of fun colors in here i was actually thinking of using this palette for like a valentine's day eyeshadow look because it has the red and the pinks in this palette that's actually what i had planned to do for today's video but i figured let me save it for valentine's day and see if i can come up with something um better by valentine's day but i definitely recommend the palette i don't think you guys will be disappointed at all and it's a pizza it's a really fun palette to have i didn't have any fallout either which was kind of crazy because they're so pigmented i really expected fallout i didn't get any fallout with these eyeshadows and also there was no kickback if you guys want to get it i say go ahead i think that it'll be money well spent but yeah that is it for me that is all that i have to say don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed with the notification bell if there's even a notification bell anymore because i swear i haven't been able to find it in like the last couple of weeks um but yeah don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget that if you want more beauty content makeup pictures makeup tutorials swatches and all of that you can head over to our instagram at glitter beauties and you can see a lot more beauty content there and yeah i hope that you guys will subscribe i hope that you liked this video let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see next and i hope to see you on the next one bye